Welcome back everybody to Rasputin Gaming Presents. This is our continuing playthrough, guide and playthrough for King Arthur Knight's Tale. Uh, we're right where we left off last time. We had just leveled up our, our two heroes right here. As you move around the map, you can see you can just flies along right there. So these are all the different areas. So um, we can actually build some stuff, I think, here. So let's ju jump into Camelot and we talk about what can happen here. These are all the different areas you can go. Um, if they're not highlighted, you can't go there yet. So, But Camelot, we can go to. Um, this is our journal. We didn't talk about this last time, but this is the story so far. This talks about where we woke up and what we must do and the result of our very first mission. And uh, victory for us, again, the tyrant build and here's our two heroes for the round table Sir Mordred this is us that's why it's glowing up here and you can see it's true Mordred always had a reputation of a black knight a ruthless grim warrior so this is us you can read them as you go through them uh, Sir Kay foster brother changed after lady of the late monarch of the island disappeared in a terrible storm blah 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 so these are different challenges. Um, you can go through and see what they all are. Tutorials, game mechanics, stat effects, and end game. And I'm not going to go over there. So that's where we are with the journal. Then this is the menu down here. And this automatically sends you to the next mission. But before we do that, let's go to Camelot. We can't do any reconstruction yet, but it tells you about the area that once in future king stronghold in Avalon, the mere image of a glorious fortress in Britannia, created by the powers that rule this mystical island. Only the most powerful knight of the round table could claim it. The blessings of the lady have protected the place for a long time, but now it lay in ruins. You need resources to work or rebuild it as the seat of your future kingdom. So we need a thousand building resources to begin reconstruction on it. So let's just dump in so we you can go to the main mission from here or from here or from up here. So we'll let's just go to where it says number two right here. The and nearby click on Kingstone it. is plundered by a marauder knight. Kingstone. What a regal name for a mud hole. Anyway, the village belongs to the throne, and I must teach these brigands a harsh lesson about boundaries. Also, I will need plenty of masons, woodcutters, and laborers to restore Camelot to its former glory. Okay, and this tells you about the mission. So we have brigands for our enemies, and that's, they're the only ones we're going to be fighting. We get resource reward as a bonus, and a recruitable hero, so somebody can join our party now. And this is the goal. Free the village from the marauding knight, and put the remaining serfs to work in Camelot. Let's go ahead and start. I like how these glow up when you get right here to the, what you're picking. And you can see we're going to have up to four slots here. I think we are too late. I don't see any survivors. Ah, so we are a little bit too late, but not completely. And you can see we're still running the box formation, which is fine for me. We're going to come what down this thing? way. Take a look all around. More things to plunder. There's 23 gold. And that's why you want to take a look around at everything. And we're, we can't get out. We'll head this way and up this way. You well, can see from the map. Come on, then, fellows. Let's this play. is one of Terwellen's sons. Yes, the righteous fool trying to save the village on his own. We should have hit the guy from the back, my bad. Can't attack again. But we can throw down a weakness on somebody. And 
turn. We don't have to pull this fool yet. So you can see Sir K now has all this uh, armor. By the old gods, Sir Mordred. The rumors are true then. You have returned. I'm only following my knightly oath by protecting the innocent. The nearby village is plagued by these brigands, and I must stop them. So you are truly taking King Arthur's place in Camelot, recruiting knight. You should find my brother. He would be a great fit to your dark court. Yeah, let's ask about... Well, let's tell him about killing his father. Finally, you committed a murder that you should not regret. He became a disgrace to everything he fought for in his life. Death was salvation for him. So he didn't mind. So uh, Sir Balin here is a righteous and old faith uh, champion. So that's the two things that work well for him. So let's ask about his brother. That selfish, wild zealot is busy defending our heirloom at the Bridge of Sorrow. It should have been mine, but he ignored our father's will. All right. Curse upon Balan. Anyway, my late father believed in Arthur's creed that a knight is defined by the deeds, not by the land. And the thing with uh, Sir Balan, who we have not met yet, is he's the opposite. He's a um, Christian and tyrant. So he, the two brothers are opposite. So you want to remember that when you meet up with these guys, which ones you want to deal with. So for us, if we want to tend to favor the old faith, we would take this gentleman and on most of our battles and if we want his brother if we want to be more tyrant you are not the only one looking for him something terrible happens to Avalon and people need guidance the ship that brought him to Avalon reached shore beyond the bridge of sorrows I would start looking for him there in the whispering cove that's what my father told me and my brother anyway our goals are the same. I'll accompany you. Okay, so he joins up. There he is. So, he has the same amount of uh, hit points. And they all have vitality except for our Mordred, who has more than anybody. So, free the village, and Sir Balin must survive. And we're going to go down this direction, which is down here. And we might as well go to the three across now. Or let's go to the diamond shape now. So with us in front, these two guys back. That's kind of a better setup. And you can see we're stymied here. Animals. Half of the village is killed and maimed, the other half hiding in the woods. We must stop this. Uh, let's go back. Or we can go around this way. Let's loop this spot right here, 27. Move forward. Now you can see we're going to have a planned battle. So as soon as we step on these... Um, the battle will join. This is the only ones we can find unless we go a different direction. So let's just go ahead and move forward. Gather all you can. The dead won't need anything, will they? These brigands are not even worthy to stand trial. We shall kill them all. Still a good old Balan. Protector of the weak. Spare me the cynicism. You are here for the same reason as I am to save these people. Yes, I need them to work the fields, see? 
You are a disgrace to everything the round table stood for. Maybe this land needs my round table to survive. Okay, so we can um, set up anywhere in here that we want. So you command? Put him over here. None can stand in my way. Mortar in the middle. Ready to fight. Okay, over one. Because if we get the opportunity, I want to multiple attacks. We gotta. I want to take down the range guy. There's a range guy. We need to deal with them pretty quickly. So you can see right here, the three circles are ranged. This guy's ranged as well. And then the three squares are are melee. Your service, my lord. Ooh, plus one right off the bat, which is what we want. And you can see we can't attack anybody. He can get to right here. So if we even move one square, he's going to be able to hit us. But we can set up for an overwatch. And overwatch is this right here. You can select an area and consume all remaining. AP when enemy enter the area on the next turn we get to attack one attack for every four AP consumed so if you have like eight and you don't have to move you, can, you get two attacks so it's nice so we're gonna move right here and we'll turn his facing and set him up for overwatch Now he's going to overwatch these squares. Can't attack anybody else. He can get to there. So if we go to here, we can overwatch on this guy. Because we're out front, we're taking the shots, and that's fine. Everything's blocked. Okay, that was unfortunate. So let's start with... Okay. Move here. Do a cleave attack. Chop down two guys at once. Very nice. With one, two, take down these two guys. We're gonna have to close the distance. And Sir Balin will move. These guys are good. And you can't loot during combat either. You have to wait till it's over. These. Turquoise squares represent the back of the combat zone. Here, a new ally showed up. She killed one. Your command? Uh, Balan can't reach this dude. Well, we can get right up next to him, so we will. That means he's still going to get to attack. Throw weakness on him. Not much else we can do. Um, reserve, reserve, and end our turn. She'll probably kill him. For king and country. So Balan first, oh. and that's that. Battle is over. Arthur Mordred, you really don't have to thank me. All right, so this is Lady Dindrain, so we can talk to her. I'm Lady Dindrain, the Lord's chosen seeker of the Holy Grail. Aren't you helpful? I wish I had thought of that earlier. Do I know them? Yes, you can say so. Percival is my brother. 
A bright light there you go. encroaching darkness. Fighting his battles where I can't reach him. Percival is her brother. Let's ask about Galahad. That's Galahad all we can do. Is, well, trust me when I say that he is truly lost. No, I'm alone in my holy quest. It is my trial by fire. Um, all right, so let's advance it now. No, I'm looking for redemption in this hellhole, Tread Knight. No, sir. I'm hunting down their leader. The Marauder Knight hiding in a ruined tower. And now, by the way, we're going to have our four um, compatriots that I showed in the beginning. We had slots for four. The good Lord sent you then. I'm always glad to have some walking shields around me. Let's go. Let's go indeed. I am humbled by the Lord's gift. So potion, I don't think there was any others in here. As we walked up, I didn't see any other ones. Other than this chest. What an interesting find. Another sigil for heavy armor. Yay for us. And now we are for, um, by the way, Lady, whoops, that, <laughs> that tutorial. Uh, Lady Dindrain was, um, a revelation, perhaps. Shrines. Here we go. Shrines are random positive or negative effect to one of your heroes. Selected by your heroes with high enough spell power can reveal the exact effect of shrines. Let's move in close. And you can see that this shrine is um, old world. Unleash the following power. Regain armor. Oh, that's going to be good for Mordred. So there we go. And we're full back up. There is a... Uh, this is a PC game, but this is there is an achievement for not using any shrines or in the old campfires days, the in the mission. Of mad wizards and crushed the champions of the she. And now we are trying to save some dirt poor villages. How profoundly annoying it should be for you. Another potion. So resting areas can regain health and armor we could have we are gonna skip it we could have skipped it for that um, achievement if you want the achievements but so let's spin this around so we can see what we're up against here this is where the lord of the vermin is hiding let's cleanse this hovel once and for all that's definitely a ruined cathedral so you can see we come over this way, we can, and so you got a ranged one on each side, and there's squares all around. So before we actually start a pitch battle, and then here's the two, so we can't really get by, that's what we're going to start. So let's just go ahead and trigger it. So if you have an enemy within melee rounds, you do 50% damage. See, and I would like to put Lady Dindrain over here, but we have to be careful because these guys can reach her in one turn. You can see even if I put her here, he he can he'll rush over and she'll be doing 50% less damage. But the first turn she could go, I don't know that she'll kill this guy in one turn. That's the issue. 
or we can go after this other ranged one, which is over here. So let me Blessings. pick her and put her over there. And you can see when whatever square we move her to, it shows you who she can hit. So maybe we go right here, we can actually hit more. Oh, here we can shoot two as well. This one's the same as the other one. Yeah, I think we're, we'll go this one. Okay. We definitely want Camelot. Mordred in the front. And facing front. service my lord awaiting your command okay on this this side facing front so everybody's facing the direction they need to go and we'll say finished is first what do we got one two three six and three to strike leaves me one short of being able to cast the vulnerability on the dude <laughs> and we'll reserve our one Face forward so I don't get backstabbed by one of those guys. And she's got fire arrows, which cause a, a whole bunch of damage. Regular attack. We can get two of those in. Take a guy down, and then we end our turn. So you can see placement's a big deal. We were able to take down three out of the seven guys to start with. Stone skin, what the hell? That was rough. And you can see we got a couple of treasure points here. So now we definitely need to throw the weakness on this guy or this vulnerability, which weakens his armor. back there I can't we can't go right here and attack him. we're gonna have problems with this guy but yeah unfortunately we do not have cleave on this side don't have power attack. Cost five AP. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, end of turn. Lady Dindrine's gonna have to take care of this turd for us. See, we have our first damage. 
So her balance is minus one. Let me cut you to size. Block and block, that's rough. Reserve. At your service, my lord. And we're gonna do this power attack. So we break a bunch of armor and reserve. And we're gonna cleave for extra. right there so we need to go but we can move diagonally so and reserve end of turn yeah Valen he's taking a beating and that's the thing with uh, champions, they just take a beating. Take three, okay, so we can still hit him with this. The vulnerability, the stigma, cast stigma. And then we can hit him twice. Down he goes. for the wicked. All the way over here. You command. And him around here, so we can come around the end. <laughs> and let's go. I am ready. And end this. Everybody come back to the it center. Seems I was wrong about you, Mordred. I shall give you an advice then. Camelot is in danger. Not from these marauders, but the creatures of darkness beyond the Bridge of Sorrow. My brother Balin is standing guard in the bridge fort. Holding back the tides at midnight. All right. There has been bad blood between us. He is cruel and arrogant, a savage in battle. But even Balan will fall if you don't help him out. So it looks I like we're going to go see oath. Balan. If you decide to march to the bridge now, I will meet you there. Okay, he will meet us there. He's off. Finish missions. When you complete all the objectives, you can exit via the finish mission button at the top right, or you can choose to explore the rest of the area. We need to explore because we have treasure. Room for one handed, and you can see there's another one right here. So let's spin the camera around. And grab this puppy. Some more sigil for some heavy armor. Hold on to, and that's all there is. We can move them around, but um, that's all there is. So we can say finish the mission. And there we go. Don't forget to friend and follow us on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. So let's see how we did. Lady Dindrain, she can level up. Uh, not enough experience to level up these guys. We have 1,500 building resources now, so we can build Camelot. We have 462 gold, a couple more healing potions, a lucky charm of sickness, adds plus one to poison duration. You'll see she has a possibility of doing poison, so this would be good for her. 
plus five vitality. Uh, gain three hit points when drinking potion. Extra three plus one injury token. And uh, gain one damage for two turns for each kill. So raging wound just like we had before. So we say continue with the mission. And here you go, Camelot Reborn. And this Viking looking Sir Mordred with the chains and the horns on his armor. Kind of a badass. Um, anyways, every lord needs a castle. I knew it from the very beginning that I will rule this realm from Camelot. Finally, the time is right. We have gathered the resources and the manpower to rebuild that majestic ruin. Camelot will shine a bright light into the gathering darkness of Avalon. So we can say let it rise again for a thousand building resources. We have 1800. So boom, there it goes. It's up. And she joined the court. So before we go with that, let's deal with her. She can't use any of the weapon sigils or the arm. Well, she has this one. Give her plus five vitality. That's not for light armor. Nobody else is using anything. Um, we can certainly give it to her. And you can see right here, you can do poisoned arrow instead of the burning arrows. There's other ones here. So if, we, if we're going to go with the poison arrow, which is 100% weapon damage and for two turns. So they suffer 10% damage at the start of the turn and deals 20% less damage. So that's really good. And this makes it last one more turn. So right now it's two turns. It would be three turns. Most things aren't going to live that long, especially if we do that. Oh, this is something we forgot to talk about. So her morality is Christian. Uh, point. I think I mentioned that earlier. But here's her traits. So covenant, plus one loyal after every other Christian hero in the round table. So if you have other Christian heroes, she gains loyalty. Uh, she's beloved. Healing injuries cost 50% less gold for this hero, which is nice if they get injured a lot. While appointed is the hospitalier in the hospice. Increases the healing done by consuming healed poison by 4% for all heals for heroes. But she's mission conscious, so no loyalty from court titles. That's a, that's a non-deal. It doesn't matter one way or the other, other with her, with that. All right, so um, before we decide if we want to give that to her, we do you want to give her other potions? We just have more healing ones. We don't really want to. So the question is, do we give her poison arrows or... So if you do that, then you obviously want to do this or you're going to pick burning units. She's already got burning. This one costs one. So they gain one less AP. That's really nice. And the burning is increased by one turn. It's already two turns, which is pretty long. So let's go with one, one less AP. Hold that one down and let's do this one is torture. And then she doesn't need the trinket for the poison. Um, so Sir K, he already has two. A morality neutral, as I mentioned. So talented. Learning active skills. That's these ones in the squares. They're active skills. Uh, only cost one skill point for this hero. So... These ones in the circles cost two. This one, Death Strike, would only cost him one. So you can see in the in the bottom right, in red, skill point one cost. Uh, ambitious, so you get more loyalty if we give him a court title. Uh, bone Setter, so he does good if he's a Hospitalier as well. But he's stubborn. So if he doesn't have full vitality, you lose some loyalty with him. Not a big deal. Mordred, fast metabolism. After missions, regain 20% max vitality and when appointed is master of arms in the training ground it grants every hero one percent mission xp after the mission they did not participate in and this goes up by one percent every two levels so this is a good deal if you got heroes once you get a big bench then you have heroes sitting around this is really good to have because it um they they 
gain some XP. It's 1%, it's not much, but it's something. So uh, that helps out. And then it's a matter of do you want to give him an extra healing potion? We don't really need it. Trinket, he can't use that. He already has. Um, well, he doesn't have one equipped. Plus one injury token. Plus three when drinking potions. Um, so if we have to, I really like this for um, champions instead. And we already gave him. Oh, he has the plus one bleeding damage. Let's switch to the raging wound. Gain plus one damage for two turns after each kill. So that one's better. So let's go back to K and check the armor one. What does he have equipped? Plus two when resting. Three when drinking a potion. So let's equip that one just in case he needs that one. And then let's go back to Mordred and plus two hit points when resting. So he it just means you heal up faster. I don't expect him really to be dealing with injuries, so we won't worry about tokens right now. We'll equip him with that one. And we should be good with that. So then we're done with this page. No uh, points, we already spent hers. Everybody's level two. And we um, have advanced the story a little bit. And for the next section, we have uh, some work to do in Camelot. I'm gonna do that in a separate video so we can talk about that. Uh, separately, probably along with the morality tree and, and maybe not the morality tree. Yeah, we talked a little bit about who's where, but we need a few more people before we go a little bit farther with that. So, all right, we will catch you guys with uh, episode three of our King Arthur Knight's Tale at playthrough as a Tyrant Old Faith morality build. We will catch you on the next one. So biography, if you want to read it right here. So like with hers, I don't think we checked hers out last time. But there it is. Percival's sister. Following rumors spread out of mad hermits and babbling visionaries. Want to explore vicious wastelands. This is where she lost Percival. She's been withdrawn to the region near Camelot ever since then. So you can close it right there. All right. We will closest catch you guys next time be safe out there